Hey everybody, my gosh, it feels it's been forever since we had a recipe in our channel. And I don't know if you noticed anything different, we have a whole brand new kitchen. So today, in honor of Valentine's Day, I'm gonna teach you how to make scrumptious vegan waffles. And this recipe, by the way, goes great with the recipe we prepared for you last Valentine's Day, which is our vegan Nutella for hopeless romantics. We're gonna get started right now. It uses a very strange ingredient in a very unique way to make the most scrumptious waffles Let's get started. Now, if you're new to vegan baking or vegan cooking, you might not know what aquafaba is. Aquafaba is the brine that is found in a jar or a can of chickpeas, and it's one of the best egg replacers. Now, we're gonna whip it up into stiff peaks because that magically happens with this little ingredient. That's gonna create lots of, you know, this airy texture that is great in waffles so that when you bite into them, they're, they've got that perfect waffle texture. So we're gonna add that to a standing mixer or use a handheld mixer, anything you have and we're gonna whip it until those stiff peaks form. Now, isn't that kind of magical? We're gonna add those lovely stiff peaks to our waffles. That's gonna create the best texture. I promise you won't be able to taste it. Let's add all of our dry ingredients in a large bowl. We've got some all-purpose flour. I'm using brown sugar today. You can use evaporated cane sugar, any type you have in the house. This is very important in waffles. It's gonna add that caramelization that we need to form those crispy edges. We've got some baking powder, some baking soda. Very important to add a little bit of baking soda aside from your baking powder because it's gonna help it brown nicely and get that golden color. Some salt. And let's mix this together. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our wet ingredients. So I've got some melted non-dairy butter here, some vanilla extract, some non-dairy milk. I'm using soy milk today. Use any type of non-dairy milk that you have on hand. The richer, the better. Let's combine this. Once you no longer see that loose flour in there, we're gonna fold in our beautiful stiff peaks and add in all of that air. Now it's important that you do this softly because you don't want to kind of ruin all of that gorgeous fluffiness that we put into them. I always love to let my pancake batters or waffle batters rest for a little bit. And we're gonna do that. We're just gonna leave this five minutes to set it aside while we warm up that waffle iron. I love to heat my waffle iron. Of course, every waffle iron is different, but I love mine at medium to high heat. We're gonna add a little bit of spray oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick. If you don't have this, you can simply you know, brush some with a brush. And I like to use a half a measuring cup. So this is about half a cup. And this is of course gonna depend on the size of your waffle iron. You don't want to over you know, pour batter because then the waffles can split once you open them up. Now we're gonna let this go. The amount of time will of course depend on the amount of batter you added, on the size of your waffle iron. So this just takes a little bit of experimentation. Now the rule is, the rule of thumb is, that the longer you leave them, you're gonna get crispier waffles. And the less you leave them, they're gonna be a little bit softer and fluffier. So it depends on what you like. Let's take a peek. Ah, oh, those look amazing and it smells delicious. Continue with the rest of your batter and then we get to add any topping we like. Look at that beautiful stack. I love to top mine if it's for breakfast with some raspberries, some blueberries, some banana slices. If it's for a dessert or a snack, I love our vegan Nutella for hopeless romantics, which you will find linked below. Now comes the best part, you get to dig in. Mm, it's so good. 